Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Shop Update. Just going to give you a few pieces today. Not really going to go into depth. You guys got a spray session yesterday, trying to keep it in real time this week. So I wanted to give you the results of the acid effect from yesterday. One thing I noticed on the video that it was not as easy to see the details in this Fat Papa style as it was to see in the Dinger S. But this is the finished product, clear coated, dried, and that really cool acid wash effect. Really adds texture to the lure, especially in things like craws. I saw a comment on the, uh, the spray session video from yesterday that says, hey, why not try it in a bluegill and maybe you'll get the dots better. You know how like with bluegill, especially pumpkin seeds, it's really hard to mimic the way the bait looks. Now this is obviously the neon pumpkin seed from the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. I know I feel like NASCAR anymore. There's so many advertisements, but hey, it's just for the stuff that I sell online. So. Um, I do have to make money to replenish things for helping you guys learn skill sets in the fishing community and airbrushing community. Uh, but it's really hard to duplicate the way a, a pumpkin seed looks in the wild. And the suggestion, and it was a fantastic suggestion, was to try the acid effect and then go like a dark orange maybe and have a blue underlay. So let, I'm gonna play with that. I think that's a fantastic idea and uh, see if I can come up with something really cool to show you guys online and show you guys in a spray session about what the results look like. So great, great thought. I, honestly, it's early in the morning when I always shoot these videos, so it's very difficult to remember who said that, but I'll go back to my notes and take a look at that. This is the Hamilton Crawl. Gosh, I love these things. Um, this is an order from Greg. It's getting ready to go out to uh, Chicago in a couple of days. Just need to get it dressed up. I might be able to get it done today, probably more than likely though tomorrow. Um, you guys are noticing that, that stay with the channel all the time that I've changed the craw scales just slightly. Um, the segmenting, I like to switch it up every once in a while just to do something completely different. And I really like the way the um, this stencil turned out and I hand cut it. It's nothing fancy folks. It's I've, I've gotten requests to show you how I hand cut stuff. So I'm going to do that, but you probably will be bored with it because it's not like the vacuum seal. I'm not using any kind of cry cut or 3d cut, anything like that. It's just cardboard, um, out of specifically out of the Bill Lewis set lock hookbacks. It's just a thin cardboard that holds up several times. Like I can use one stencil and I have been for, months before it gets so clogged up with paint that I have to discard it and then run a new template. This is just a cool crawl. I love the Hamilton crawl. And this was, I don't know if you guys remember when I first brought this online, but this goes out to my friend Andy Hamilton across the pond who I met in, in the Brentwood, Maryland area for, um, for a friend of mine's open studio. Um, so Margaret provides a, a, an outstanding venue for young and upcoming artists and older upcoming artists to really shine and uh he was one of the people i had the just the privilege and honor to meet him and his wife inga so this this crawl goes out to you he's not um an airbrush artist but he is an artist and he's fantastic so look him up online my tar pit is his name he goes by this is the showstopper And this has changed a little bit over the over the years as well. It's got that deep, deep, deep red on its collar. Got the red eyes. And um, this is just a, a generic wide-lipped square bill because the ones that I usually get her out of stock. So I need those back in stock, Brian, come on. These are good, these are good. I'm not gonna knock them, they swim well. Um, but I really like Brian's much better. I really do, it's just it's just a fantastic blank. Um, 
and then a duplicate. So we did two of those. I'll set these back here. Here's a little guy. I haven't done one of these in a while. This is on the website as well. This is the yellow jacket, reimagined yellow jacket pattern in a wart. These will catch them. Spring, springtime, fun, fun, fun pattern. Haven't shown you guys that in a while. Also yesterday, this is the bait that I was talking about. Um, this is the way the neon pumpkin seed was intended to look, and I did it originally on a foiled 2.5 bait. It's it's sitting on the website and uh, in the square bills. But my, uh, my client ordered it this way in a larger, in the 2.5, and then also, pull this down here, they ordered a non-holographic in a smaller bait, which is just as effective. But what I was talking about yesterday is that you really need to bring the colors out more to where it's going to shine the way it does on a foiled bait. And that's just one of the ways to do that when you're laying this down is to add a little bit of white underneath that blue before you spray your layering. Haven't done a zombie in a while. This is the purple zombie. And you can see this is in that holographic foiled. You can see some of the foiling coming through just a little bit. Really gives it that ex extra oomph and flash when it's moving through the water and this is one of Ryan's and you can really see the difference now if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about with differences um, look at the gill plate on this one versus the gill plate on this one see there's no line there's no point that signature S point that comes down still very effective weighted just about the same uh, I think Brian's is just a little bit heavier especially the holographic fold one because it's got some extra layering on it. it's it got some foil underneath um, but this zombie really really enjoy doing those patterns they're fun and they catch fish um, that's the whole point is isn't it is you want to catch those fish and this is the other lure that I painted with that acid effect and this really gives you a, a better opportunity to see what the bait looks like finished and you can really I mean it just almost looks like a normal crawl wood with that texturing on the top and yeah I think somebody was talking about on custom crankbait technique techniques last night um, that yeah they're all the you, you stumble across the coolest stuff when you're making mistakes um so don't ever be afraid to make mistakes and try stuff that is my little go get them speech for the morning is uh definitely goof around try patterns try spraying and, and screw up who cares um the fish really don't uh, a lot of the times and i think i showed you these yeah, the last one I think I did, the, the Strike Kings. I don't know if they were clearing or not. We'll just go through them quickly. These are sold as well, but this is that custom Strike King pair in the Elite Red Craw. Real quick, fun, great patterns. Love these patterns. That's what I got for you guys today. Um, but again, just wanted to, to really give you guys an update on how this stuff turned out. Uh, and I couldn't ask for better. Look at the texture on that. Now you can really see the texture this time. I, w I went back when I was going through and, and it was not easy to see on this bait. Um, but now that it's finished, you can really see that acid effect. Some people call them fish eyes or bubbles. But super cool. You guys take care. We'll see you on the next one. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Um, snow's coming on the East Coast. Lots and lots more rain out here in the Midwest, Mid-South. Peace out. See you guys next time. Happy casting.